Hey, what's up, my good people? This your boy Ellup, and this video right here, I'm gonna show you how to get that that stutter effect in your tracks. Now, for those of you that may have seen the video, I believe it was 2013 at the NAM where they were talking about, I believe it was uh, Studio One 2.5, if I'm not mistaken, where Teddy Riley was explaining the new, the new features that came about in that time, 2013, which is about a couple of years ago. And he was talking about takes. So if you guys seen that, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. Obviously, I don't have the same system as he or the same plugin as he was using, but I have something similar and it's called Stutter. It's a plugin by Ozotope and I love it. It's, it's pretty dope. It has some really nice presets in there. So uh, I was going to start something using this here. Um, actually, this is what it is. Let's let's play it. All right, so this is a track I'm working on. And so I'm going to take this and copy it, and I'm going to actually start a new session, a, a total new session in. And we're gonna go. Let, let me let me get the BPM. Okay, we got 140. So we're gonna just we're gonna start a new session. So I can just be specific. I mean, you can do this in the track itself. It's, it's that's totally fine. But um, I just want to do something right here. That's fine. All right. Now <laughs> that's pretty dope. How I can just copy and paste. I just did that on fly just to see if it would happen. So let's listen to that. All right, cool. So what you have to do here is you have to add the stutter effect, which is by Isotope, like I said, and it's a it's actually an effect. It's not an instrument. So we're going to go ahead and search for it like this. We're going to grab it and we have to put it on the the track itself, which is I need to update. And I'm explain this to you guys. You have to grab an instrument track. It's, it's it's crazy, but but check this out. This is how dope this is. I'm going to grab an instrument track, and I'm just going to call this trigger. So this is my this is my instrument, and this is the trigger. But I want this to trigger uh, the stutter effect here. So on this track. I don't want I don't want the stutter effect on the instrument track itself because it's not going to do anything. It needs to be on the track where the audio lives right here. So I'm going to tell this this <laughs> this instrument track right here to trigger what I put on top of this audio track. Crazy, right? Like what what the heck is that? Because usually the instrument is on the instrument track itself. But that's just, you know, that's just some dope stuff for you. All right. Now, in order to record uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do just like Teddy Riley. We're gonna re we're gonna record out. So I'll have to create a bus track. So we're gonna send this to a bus channel, and okay, we're gonna send this to a bus channel here, and I'm gonna go ahead and label that as the stutter bus. Simple, right? And what's cool about this is we have to let's let's also add another track. This is going to be our comp track that we're going to actually add. So this time we're going to go for uh, audio here and we're going to go for stereo because we record the stereo in. And we're going to call this our, our stutter comp track. And let's change the color just to make everything pretty, you know and input is the bus okay that's fine all right so i think that's cool all right so we we got this track right here where we're going to re record everything into here and the bus channel here is where everything is kind of you know it's it's like in between the gap you know, the way that, you know, you get it through here and then through the uh, this actual track here. So as you can see, it's playing through here. 
all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna move my instrument over here just just all right, i need to tell my i need to tell my bus i don't want it all on the right where is the bus all right so now i can move it here so let's okay cool so i just want my bus i guess that's fine right there all right so so now we have to be on this track here and 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 the other thing that you want to do is you want to record to takes and this is for your instrument track here because what we what we're going to do is we're just going to constantly add you know study effects at the study effect and and just you know record a nice take of it right so in order to do that we have to activate the record to takes because if we don't do that then you know the notes that we record inside of the instrument itself will kind of you know duplicate and it'll just create a, a mess all right so uh so this is what we're going to do so we got uh our takes to layers you know that's that's cool and we have our this track uh, our contract is already armed and ready and so we pretty much ready to go so now what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna pull up the um, the instrument that's on this audio track, and I guess it's not gonna stop. The little window that keep popping up says you need to update, brother. All right, so so this is what we what, what we're doing. Um, I'm I'm gonna have this up. I'm gonna pin that so we won't lose this here, and then we're gonna go to this channel here so that we can trigger our this uh the stutter effect button here. But again, we want to make sure that um, our keyboard is triggering. Okay, so that that should be good. By the way, for some reason, this is not linking up with this here. So you have to make sure you select you you select this here, and that's how you you see how I'm you know switching everything. Um, m maybe something I'm missing or whatever. But I I just now noticed, yeah, you know that's that's okay. So here we go. Check this out. So we're just gonna play a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do something like that. Now, um, let's turn on the, uh, let's see, we're gonna bring that back in. Let's turn on our, our loop track here, or our, or our loop our, our loop thing, our, our cycle here, activate that. And we're getting ready to start the recording process. All right, all right, here we go. Well, let's 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 do it for <laughs> let's do it for real this time. So now let's change presets. All right, I have fun. Did you guys enjoy watching? <laughs> All right, so so basically here, um, in, in in the reason why we went with the uh, the record to takes here for our instrument, and this is pretty cool for your for your instrument. So if you if you're watching this video, you're pretty much learning a, a, a few things by this this concept here. So if we just hit the um this this button here. I have, you know, the instrument takes are just like what we are getting ready to do when we start comping and, you know, selecting what we want. But the instrument, you can do the same thing. And so we have, what is this, about four takes, all right? But that's not what I'm focused on. That's not what we're doing here. So I can actually delete this because I don't need that. What we want to do is is edit the, the comp track for the actual audio. And I'm going to go ahead and mute this here. And we're going to just focus on this here. We, we can uh, unarm that right quick. So this is what we are going for. So. All right. So now when when we are uh, getting ready to edit everything, it's just as simple as selecting what we want to hear. So. You know, 
I can go and say let's that you know let's let's go with that. Oh, what is this here? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's say we don't want that in the beginning. We want something else in the beginning. Let's see. I want something a little bit more drastic. Right? There we go. You know what I'm saying? And and the cool thing about this is once you do that, it actually creates a fade, a crossfade right here between each take that you select. So, you know, you already know what that does. It avoids, you know, the 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 clicking and pops or whatever. So that's pretty dope. That works. And I hope you guys learn something. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this track here. Um, this is something I'm working on. I, I have another video that I'm getting ready to upload in probably, I don't know, a couple of days or so where, uh, I'll show you the entire track to this, but you know, just working on it cause I wanted that stutter effect at the end. I was like, man, I got to show my people this, you know? So if you, if you, if you want that stutter effect and you like isotope products, this is how you do it. This is how you get that Teddy Riley sound where you can just mix and, 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 and match everything. And, you know, it pretty much goes for, well, I can't speak for any other plugins because I don't have that at my, you know, at my fingertips. But that's pretty much how it goes. I hope you guys learned something. This is your boy, Ellup. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.